Hey guys, Couch C here with some more 200 zoom, and I finally figured out that OBS has noise suppression, so you won't have to listen to all the sirens. <laughs> uh, hopefully the uh, noise quality is a bit better. Um, we've got some pretty nice stacks at the moment. I I'm going to squeeze really big here because uh, this guy's playing 60% of hands, so I'm going to increase my sizing here. I'd usually go about 14 and a half, but... Um, yeah, when a guy's playing 60% of hands, you, you just want to isolate against him. Just make sure that the rag gets out of the way. And we're definitely fine seeing two folds and picking up seven and a half big spree. I think this... I think against this size, this is just a pure fold. I can arrange bet here. I maybe I shouldn't range bet because this guy's tight, so his range is gonna be stronger. So I think this is actually kind of torching money a little bit uh against kind of a non-optimal opponent who's way on the tight side. Uh his range is gonna be um yeah, just just too strong to to arrange bet against. Um given how tight he's playing. And how at least three burning. Uh, checking range on the bottom left table. I'm also going to try out three tables today. Uh, usually I just do two, so hopefully there'll be a bit more action. Even if it comes at the cost of maybe a bit of the uh, quality on analysis. Yeah, so this is the guy, and as you can see, he's playing exceedingly passively. Did I fall to in the big hand now? This one. I hope I was small than that. Can't see the deuces hand. I hope I didn't fold deuces in the big blind, but who knows? Uh, so against a reg, I'd use a big size on this texture, but um, against the recreational, I'm just gonna just gonna bet on the small side. I think it's more efficient. Um, our hand's kind of nice to just bet small with because we can always call the check raise with the uh, nut gut shot backdoor backdoor spades. Again, not a spot that I typically um, high frequency bet. I like using uh, big bet or check uh, in these positions on ASI boards. Um, an 85 not going to check raise. Um, but yeah, against recreational, I just think it's, it's just going to be the best strategy. Um, yeah, even against this size, not raising um, when we roll 85 with this hand. I think I want to leave this turn a lot, though. Like, a lot, a lot. RMG's telling me to check, but... Uh, I'm going to go have a lead here. I think I kind of want to be somewhat polar as well. I'm going to go this size. And I think I want to block river. Uh, 
uh, to try and get caught by an ace. Roll with bold here, playing three better fold in these positions. Uh, sevens will mix on a knight two, which I back. This is ugly. So I can have, what do you make it pre? I think you made it 2.2 .2 pre, so I can have jack 10 off with a spade. Um, I can have sixes with a spade. I don't think I need to call this one. And folding sevens versus the sides, especially against a tighter opponent. Uh, queen 10 will raise occasionally. I don't think we get to raise too often on this board. Um, but we do have um, we do have all the king jack uh, all the king 2 suited jack 2 suited. Um, on a 74 I think I'm going to check back. I'd even do a lot of 200% partner on this turn. Um, and we're going to bluff this one on the river, not having any diamonds in our hand. I'm just going to try and wrap a king. But uh, yeah, when he bets, we just, we just fold. So this guy's playing sixty percent of hands, but uh, he's only raising eleven percent. So, don't fold him. And I'm just gonna bet this one. Uh, this is not theory. Like I should be checking a ton here. I guess on a twelve, it probably would be, but. Um, given the board's actually quite disconnected and there's no straight draws. Um, on a 90, can check 10. Um, this player, basically, I have a note on him that he flat queen 10 off small blind vest button, so I'm assuming his flat range is too wide and therefore he's going to overfold. Um, I'm actually really tempted to raise this. But I think... Uh, there's just so many draws out there that he can um he can actually bluff catch us pretty wide. I, his size is just like always a medium strength hand in my opinion. Um, when he half pots there, it's uh not not a good not a good size from him, um, in my opinion. Uh, the sport's not quite connected enough for me to have a leading range. We will have a two pair advantage. Uh, and I guess a set advantage because he doesn't pure open deuces. I would roll four bet here. Um, uh, roll a call here. Can we reason up our set? I think I want to split with my range here. Um, I think Aces mostly wants to bet big, unblocking his King X. Also, under the gun versus big blind, we typically want to uh, use more bigger sizes. Uh, the board's somewhat connected. Um, kind of any two broadways have a straight draw repair. Uh, this is a flusher on board. And yeah, what, when ranges are much tighter, I under the gun versus big blind compared to like button versus big blind, we want to uh, typically use bigger sizes. Just going to keep checking Jack Tan. And going to be checked deciding wherever. 
Uh, this hand's not going to bet all that often, but um, on a 27, I think I will. Using a large size on this texture. King Queen's our worst straight draw to bet on the flop there. Okay, we get cold four but here. I think this one mostly wants to just call, but we will have some jams. And on a one will jam. Okay, this is weird. On a one on a one, I weirdly think this bluffs. I, th I think this is somehow a bluff on a one. Yeah. I think when I roll a one, I I I Six bet bluff this hand. I don't think he should have a jamming range though. He literally only has aces, right? Like, no one's ever, ever doing that with anything but aces. I don't care, like, that he's, like, a decent 500, right? There's just no chance he has anything but aces there. Uh... Not quite going to see about this one on a 51. given that we don't have any backdoor straight draws with the five, or actually the queen. Yeah, we just have no backdoor straight draws. Yeah, that ace-king hand, I don't think I've ever six-bet bluffed before, but I think in theory that... That's the play in that situation. Um, um, trying to fold out like pocket queens. Uh, this one's going to be a pure four bet against this size. Uh, sizing up because we are deeper. Uh, I think this guy's a recreational set. So I'm going to... Uh, just see about this. Anyway, I don't think we pure bet this board. He has more sets than two pair than us. Um, not that he has many, but he has more. I don't think we get to range for this one and on an 81 can check this hand. Check and sixes. Uh, we roll a bet here. Uh, hard to find natural bluffs. Uh, but yeah, on a 16, going to be betting. I'm going to go two thirds of a check. Uh, range betting this ball for a quarter. I think we'll actually have some no equity turn barrels with this hand. And I think I will bet again now on the river. He improves to more four five suited, ace four suited. So it's actually a pretty good card for him. So I think I'm only going to go two thirds here. Uh, but yeah, I am going to bluff. Not expecting this to get through a whole lot, but. Uh, Uh, and yeah, going for a no X2 barrel here. Yeah, 
basically just wow fair enough not a bad call actually i think his hand makes quite a lot of sense as a cooldown and yeah i think we just give up river Unfortunately, I was hoping it would that kind of hand on the turn. The wrong good has definitely stopped for the video. <laughs> I think I'm going to be raising this bet a hell of a lot. He should not have any lead to um, support that really doesn't improve him much at all. So raising his bet kind of high frequency for a small sizing. I don't think I'm going to defend this versus size. It's going to free back a quarter of the time. On a fifty one, I'll bet this hand. I think I like half bottom this board. I think you could use quite a few sizings. Um, I don't think over bet makes much sense. I guess we even have the no one raising king ten under the gun. I'm gonna flat this. Um, given a fish is flattened and there's another fish in the um big blind. It's gonna fold the king eight into this lineup. I should have rolled to potentially open that one. And I think I'm going to range about 40% here. It's not a GTO play, but this guy is overfolding quite significantly to see that in my sample. And I doubt we're going to get raised enough. Like, um, as long as he's not raising our bet like crazy, uh, again, I should have randomized that. Um, then we just get to realize our equity so effectively um, with this bet. On a 39, we will peel. I think we get to make some occasional folds. Uh, when we have a two and no back door. And on a 19, gonna lead this turn. Yeah, gonna lead this turn as a bluff. I just ate some mix. And on a 42, we'll call. So this is very much the borderline. Um, Jack seven suits, clear fold. Jack nine suit is a clear call. This one I think just mixes. And I 
think I'm gonna raise this one. Uh, not a spot he should have any leads there. Definitely going to be barreling this turn. It's Jack, we roll a full bet. I think I want to overbet this turn. I'm going to go with pot. We have a massive king queen advantage. Um, and just straight advantage in general. He should never have 7-8 either. So he, he shouldn't have any straights really. Um, I would say block kind of one of his potential straights like queen eight of hearts where he'd feel priced in with a gut shot and over and uh, backdoor. But I, I, I don't think he ever flats king queen. So yeah. We we get to be extremely aggressive here. He should he never has jacks or tens. Probably should never have. Uh, shouldn't have. He, he shouldn't have nines. But I mean, if he's playing a small blind black strategy, maybe he should. I think this is just a pure free bet. I can't really remember if we have a flat versus button. Um, on a ninety one, I'm not quite sure. I'm just gonna. Pure free bank in that hand can't be bad, basically. It can't really be a, a mistake in terms of EV. But flatting it might be, so I'm just going to go pure free bet. And this is going to call half the time and full bet half the time. And we roll full bet. I'm also going to see how it did on the leaderboard. Oh, run for 50 bucks. Ace Queen roll a two, so I'm actually going to see bet this low frequency though. King Queen roll a 16. Ace Jack roll a 10. I don't think in these positions we actually float this. Uh, I really want to chip back the King Queen, but I guess on the roll I had, I'm going to go with the bet. I think I rolled pretty aggressive if I remember. It was definitely red, which I think is 20 or less. I think this hand doesn't want a pure check bet. It really sucks to bet, jam uh, bet this hand and get jammed on. Um, I think I'm probably just pure checking the turn. I'm probably checking behind the river as well. Uh, threes is going to mostly fold against that size, but we are going to call some times. I'm going to check back. Pink green. On a 91, not going to squeeze. Also, probably just never squeezing this. Uh, this stack. And I think we just check back here. He, It's hard to get called by worse. He can... I, I think we get called by better more than we get called by worse. So I'm going to check here. He can also turn some hands into a bluff, like tens with a heart. Um, that's like probably the only hand that, that might call us. Uh, Ace Jack. Oh, Queen Ten suit, I guess. Uh, King Jack. I guess on a one, I'll float. Uh, no, I'm just going to pure fold this. Can go in 25 minutes. Okay, I'll go a bit longer. Uh, pure defender. Oh, 
Roll a 21. I think this hand's too good to ever raise a C bet. Um, but it will sometimes bet. Oh, bet pretty often actually. I think with a fish in the hand, I will defend. If this was a reg flatting, I'd fold because his range would just dominate this hand uh, massively. And I think we have too much equity to bluff this on the turn. Maybe I'll bluff this like 10% of the time. Um, but it would really suck betting this and getting jammed on. Um, we do want to have some bets, obviously. Uh, we have quite a few sets. On a 15, we are definitely going to be bluffing. I think with no heart, I want to rep like King Queen. I don't know. It's a weird one, sizing wise. Um, if he bets, he makes our life easy. Uh, yeah. Difficult to figure out what size we want to bluff for. I think this hand on a 15 roll just has to bluff. On a 71. Gonna fold this one. We're slightly deeper as well, so these offsuit hands don't perform quite so well. Uh, East King gonna float sometimes. I think he bet into three people, so. I'm going to be folding a decent amount. He's balanced. We'll, he'll have like some bows in that sizing as well. Um, I think I'll flat the deuces here. After cut off flats. Uh, this guy looks quite squeeze happy. But I'll do it on a, on a 46. And pretty good hand to bluff, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to take a stab. And splitting my range on this board on a six. I think I can even over bet. Yeah, on a six, I think I'm going to over bet. Uh, I'm going to go pop. And. I think this hand just wants to keep bluffing here. Uh, we have a lot of sets and we also flat a lot of suited stuff. Um, I think we'll use two thirds. This is kind of one of our most natural bluffs, if not our most natural bluff um, on the turn. Not flat much off suit, many off suit hands. Um, so yeah, I think, I think just pure bluffing this is seems good to me. Uh, did I already roll this? I'm gonna roll again in case I didn't. On a fifty, I will. Bet. I would roll a low frequency free bet with the sevens. This guy seems really good. I hadn't played many hands with him before today, but he's owned me today, so. I think like every hand I've played against him, I've really liked how he's played. So hopefully I don't see him again. <laughs> uh, I think just checking back a hell of a lot here with sevens. I'm not sure if I ever want to bet this time. And interesting on the turn, whether I turn this into a bluff. I think I will. Um, because I think he's going to think I bet a lot of my king queen and queen jack on the flop. So I kind of am under bluffing this turn. I think I'm going to use... 
this size, bit of a weird one. Um, gonna flat the sevens. Crawls. I think I'm gonna give up river. Like, we never have a turn, he has a turn, a decent amount. We also beat some draws, like uh, Queen Jack or Hearts. So I think this one's just going to be a good one. And Queen 7, so... Is this a pure free bet? I can't remember. Versus Underweight Gun. On a 78, I'm going to follow. This could be a pure free bet, though. Um... Don't think I'm going for value of sevens. Am I? I think I'm good almost always, but I can't bring myself to quite value about this. Just gonna check fold this jack five. On a 61, I, um, this guy's on the, uh, bluff catchy side, uh, slash stationy side, so, not gonna bluff this on a 61, there are some players I probably would, uh, bluff this on a 61, actually this hand should probably be bluffing a lot, like, just bear jack time. yeah, I think this hand's like actually really nice to be bluffing turn. Uh, I think maybe a mistake, not betting on. Though if there's, he's probably in the top three players in the pool, but I shouldn't do it against uh, in terms of kind of stationiness from my experience. On a 23, gonna be. Uh, I don't think I want to be using the sounds of free bet very often, uh, this deep. Um, so my RNG said just cool, but I kind of just want to attack this. Um, Actually, he's only c betting 60%, so no, I will stick with my RNG and just call. Um, and obviously, a very clear turn call. He can still be betting ace nine, probably even queen nine, plus for value here. And he's going to be bluffing pretty aggressively. I mean, yeah, is <laughs> be ridiculous if I was considering folding this. Um I think I'm gonna lead the river. I think I'm gonna lead just try and get caught by worse. Ah, oh, that's a pen. Okay. <laughs> Against this size, I think this sounds gonna be a fool. Maybe I'll fold 25% of the time. Yeah, so it... This was kind of an explo exploitative lead. Like, I think if we want to lead, we want to lead bigger. But I was kind of making it an exploitative play to um, get him to call a 9 and pocket 10s, which I'm not sure he'd call a bigger size. So I just kind of sized down. Uh, this is close. This guy looks on the passive side. I think I'm going to find a tight fold. Especially with Rake. Yeah, I think I'm going to fold. Not loving it though. Uh, on a 63, checking back. And we will vibe at this river. So I'll be slightly scared. Uh, he can definitely ask some chair crazies here. 
pocket aces, the queens, king town, but we can't be folding two pair. I'm not loving this at all. Uh, some players that are on the more aggressive side will value their ace king for this size, so definitely can't be folding. But yeah, I'm not not super thrilled. And he finds the bluff of sevens. Interesting. Uh, this guy's free banking three percent, so I'm just gonna go crazy opening in the small blind, uh, because we're just gonna realize too much equity. I think this deep, this is an open, uh, and especially because again, the, the small blind's just not free betting. Um. On a one, I will bet this. I'm going to go three quarters. Right. I think I am going to sit out next big blind on the tables and call it a vid. I think it was a pretty disastrous start to a vid, but I think we clawed maybe a buy-in, buy-in and a half back. We'll see. We've got a nice queen. I think I'm going to range bet this board for 15% pop. Oh, that's 10%. Wrong hockey. Interesting turn. I think I'm going to barrel for small on a 48. Gonna barrel for one third pot, I think. Weird spot if we get raised. I think against a large raise, I could probably even fold. Okay. And we'll call it a bit there. So I was up, let's maximize this. This was before we started, so we're up 758. I'm expecting to be down a couple of buy-ins. Yeah, down, down to 380 up, but uh, no, we, we didn't claw quite as much back as I, I hoped we had, but uh, yeah, didn't run great in that vid, but uh, I think we played okay. Um, definitely a weird spot bluff. Picks betting ace king pre flop. I don't think I've ever actually done that before, but uh, I guess it makes the most sense of any hand to bluff ace king on. Um, and I've rolled a one, so it can't be that bad. And we need to balance our aces range there somehow. Uh, so I guess I guess that one makes sense. But uh, yeah, not not a spot you get into too often um hopefully the mic quality is a bit better today as well and uh yeah hope you enjoyed see you guys next time